Hey there, RWC fam. Welcome to my first YouTube video. I've recently, recently started a new journey and I am thrilled to share it with all of you. You know, I've always been interested in the trucking industry and I finally decided to take the plunge and enroll in a truck driving school. I spent the past few weeks learning everything there is to know about what it takes to acquire my CDL and ultimately become a professional truck driver. And guess what? I've just completed KLLM FFE's Driving Academy CDL program. And today, I'm excited to share 10 reasons why KLLM FFE Driving Academy is the best trucking school. Sit back, relax, let's cue the intro and jump right into it. Okay, so number 10, FFE operates a state-of-the-art CDL training academy in Lancaster, Texas. All, and I mean all of their training trucks are 2019 and newer, promise you. There is an advanced training simulator. It, that thing is super awesome. A huge backing range or range, maybe the size of two football fields to practice your backing maneuvers. It's, it's super huge and very safe. Safety is key here. And dedicated trucks to practice your pre-trip inspections. Number nine, training at the academy is only 18 to 22 days. So even though you can get your CDL in that time frame, the actual time spent at the school before going out with a trainer for six weeks, that is, is about four weeks but this will depend on whether you came to the Academy with or without your commercial learners permit or CLP coming in with your permit will take about three to five days off of your training time since the first week at the Academy is spent studying for CDL driving permits and passing your written exams and number eight student to teacher ratio is fantastic during my time at KLLM FFE it was mostly one-on-one -on -one training with an instructor however there were rare moments where three students were assigned to an instructor most of that occurred during the road driving exercise each person would usually take turns and drive for about an hour, an hour or so. There were times though when there were only two students attached to an instructor. So when you go out to drive on the road, sometimes there are only two in the truck, at most there were three. Number seven, fully accredited class A CDL Academy. Guys, everything is done at the Academy from taking the permit test all the way to taking the road test it's done at the Academy this was actually one of my favorites because I didn't have to go to the DPS to take any of the tests this school has instructors that are official examiners for the DPS all testing is done in one of the drop lots and then you take the road test again everything is in-house number six classes start every week every week with KLLM FFE you have the chance of starting classes of starting a class as soon as possible ASAP however I will say this all the classes are scheduled to start weekly in my experience personal opinion there was a little bit of a wait list Initially, when I was scheduled for the Lancaster, Texas location, I was on a six week wait list. Luckily, someone dropped out and I was bumped up on the wait list. I'm not sure what is the current wait time, if any, for the Lancaster or any other uh, locations that they may have. 
Hey, if you're enjoying this video and want to see more trucking adventures, don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to the RWC channel. By doing so, you'll never miss a moment of our journey and you'll be helping to support our mission of sharing valuable insights into the world of truck driving. Number five, KLLM pays for your travel and hotel lodging. Once you've been approved and scheduled by your recruiter, KLLM FFE will pay for your transportation to the school, to the academy, and cover your lodging. In my case, I drove to Lancaster, Texas, and KLLM reimbursed me for the gas that I used. They also paid for my hotel accommodation and they provided me with a permanent place to stay while I attended the school, which is their dorm actually. For the first few days, students may stay at a hotel until a room opens up at the dorm. Don't worry, the academy pays for everything, the dorms, the hotel, everything. Though it is my understanding that ladies continue to stay in the hotel while males stay in the single occupancy rooms at the academy uh, for the duration of the training. Just company policy. Number four, meals and beverages. This is another one of my favorite reasons why KLM FFE Driving Academy is the best. At the academy, I was provided with a hearty breakfast, lunch, and dinner, Monday through Saturday, entire time. <laughs> this was especially special for me because I have an uncommon dietary restriction. And even though the school was not obligated to make any special arrangements for me, they accommodated me. They went above and beyond to ensure I was having three meals daily, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'll say this, a little respect, courtesy, and appreciation can surely go a long way. Number three, paid after graduation training, paid. At this point, you're probably wondering why I keep saying KLLM, FFE when the academy is is called KLLM Driving Academy, right? That's what you see on their website. Well, KLLM is a sister company of FFE. In fact, FFE was acquired by KLLM in 2015. I'm saying this because KLLM pays differently from FFE. This is something that you definitely wanna to talk to your recruiter about. Maybe in another video, we can talk more in depth about this. For now, I'll say KLLM pays $800 per week while you are out with your trainer, and FFE pays $500 per week while you're out with your trainer. Both are definitely competitive rates. Remember that although you will have your CDL, at this point, you're still getting paid to continue training with the company until your trainer is satisfied that you're ready to go solo. Number two, $250 incentive bonus. In the second week of training, you will receive a $250 gift card to spend on whatever you like. For me, that was super awesome, <laughs> really awesome, because even though I was training, the bills didn't stop rolling in. And so for me, I used my $250 to pay a bill and have one less thing to worry about. <laughs> and number one, little to no out of pocket costs to attend. Guys, this is the best reason. I read my contract and it matches everything they've mentioned on their website pertaining to this no out of pocket costs. I'll tell you this, if you start the school without a commercial learner's permit, your tuition will be $4,000. If you start the school with a commercial learner's permit, the tuition cost will be $3,000. Now, here is the best part. You don't have to actually pay that tuition if you stay with the company for one year. Your debt will be forgiven. However, 
if you'd like to leave before that one year period expires, then yes, you will have to repay that tuition cost. One clause in the contract that might benefit a few folks out there is the student's right to cancel and refund rights. Now, after you sign the contract, you have three business days to terminate or nullify or void the contract. The week that you start the academy on the Thursday, you will receive the contract and you will have until the following Tuesday at midnight to cancel. All in all though, in my opinion, this is an excellent deal, especially if you're strapped for cash. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe to the RWC channel, Rolling with Charlie. Peace.